Hello, hello, come on in, come on in. All right, so listen, we're doing something really, really, really fun today, like super fun. Um, my friends over at Kosis, and please, if I'm saying it wrong, you know, please correct me, okay? My friends at Kosis sent me some um, gifts, and I am really excited because what they sent me is actually what I've been looking for um, in makeup recently, right? Because I've been trying to go a little bit lighter. Like, I'm kind of sick of the full coverage and, and all of that stuff because I take really good care of my skin. I have no makeup on whatsoever except my lashes, okay? So, that is what it is. Um, and, yeah, that's it. I take good care of my skin. And so, I want to show more of my skin. And so, I want makeup that kind of gives you just a little oomph, but, you know, it's not taken away from the skincare. Um, for um, a, a little bit of a dis disclaimer, I am on my second treatment for laser hair removal um, around here in this area. So, um, it's lightening up. I've done it before. I did it in 2019. Absolutely loved it. I didn't do it all of 2020. And so I'm back doing it again for 2021. So this is my second of six treatments. And so um, from experience, it, this lightens up all the way. Um, this is one of my insecure areas. So I'm going to see if it covers that. If it doesn't, then we're going to have to pull out some of the big dogs, okay? Now, what they sent me, let's see what some of the gifts are. They sent me a tinted face oil, okay? Now, tinted face oil. Let me just let me let you know about something. This scared me, okay? Because I have oily skin. And I'm like, oil on oily skin, but I'm a skincare freak, okay? And I have heard that oil actually comes, like, it, it kind of does a little counteracting situation when it comes to oily skin. And it actually works in our favor, I'm gonna tell you, today is the first time I've been brave enough to even try to figure that out and see if it's true. So we're gonna see if it's true together, all right? Now, they also sent me, this is the only product that I did try out before getting on camera. This is a lip balm. Uh, and I was like, okay, um, let me go ahead and try her out because my lips was dry that day and I didn't wanna put no Vaseline on my lips or anything like that because I usually put Vaseline on my lips at nighttime so that during the day it's really like, moist and stuff, but I didn't do it the night before and I didn't want Vaseline on my lips during the day. She came right in handy. Let me tell you, I kind of side-eyed her when I first opened it up, um, but it is a hyaluronic. I never am able to say that word, but it's one of my favorite products and one of my favorite ingredients, not products, but um, it's this is, a, um, a like I said, a lip balm and it is, you can smell like the essential oils and stuff like that and it. it smells really refreshing and i thought it was just like one of those things that smell good and smell like botanical and stuff like that but didn't have anything that really worked but she made a believer out of me the only thing i don't like is that i didn't know how to open this thing and so there's still some product down there because i messed it up but um once i got her open i was able to kind of push push her up like that and you know Smells really good. So I'm going to put some of this on now so I can get my lips moisturized. So before I, by the time I'm done, Miss Lips is going to be in prime condition. So that's what I use this for really is a primer. It doesn't feel oily or greasy. It barely feels there. And that's what this particular brand um, boasts is that it's a barely there type of situation. They also gave me a setting powder okay this is miss setting powder here and she claims that she feels like a cloud on your skin okay like i said i'm looking for some cloudiness because um i don't want nothing heavy she does look kind of dark so i'm going to try to use her as like a contour situation first and then if i feel like she can be used you know as to set my skin. I don't, I really don't think by looking at that that she'll be able to set my full face. So I did pull out another brand to do that, um, that is light, that's gonna stay within the theme that we're going for today. 
And then this is a baked bronzer. Oh, I took it out the pack. So this is the baked bronzer. And she says, the sun show. Okay, so she's gonna give you a whole sun show. So that's what we want to do here, okay? Um, I love the packaging, it's really cute. Gives me like a sunny day in California packaging. Um, I, st I think this is the, no, no, I'm not gonna go there yet because I, I wanna go here next. I'm gonna stick with complexion. Okay, so this right here, I'm still lying, okay, we're gonna get to it. Boom, the concealer. This right here is the concealer. Perfect concealer for me because you know I like my concealer to be lighter than my skin so I can highlight my face. I swatched her yesterday. I like the way she swatched on the back of my hand, but we know that can be deceiving. But I like the color was perfect and she dried down perfect on the back of my hand. Okay. Then they sent me three brow products. I was like, wow. And I'm really impressed with two of them. Now, let me tell you something. When it comes to my brow pencil, I am a pure snob, okay? I'm serious. It, it takes a lot for me to switch over for brow pencils. So, just, just letting you know. I may not be too kind, but I'm going to be real about it. But it's real cute, though. It's real, real cute. So, one end is the spoolie. And then the other end is the pencil. And this is a dark brown, which that's what I always use. Always go for dark brown because anything is other than that is going to be either too light or too dark. Okay, so go ahead and take that out. All right. Now, they also sent me a fluff and hold treatment. So this is um, kind of like a tinted brow gel. And then they also sent me a clear brow gel, which I love brow gels for people like myself who have thicker eyebrows. Even though I thinned them out recently, they're still naturally thick and I still do makeup and I love doing makeup on people who have thicker eyebrows, okay? Um, let's see, what is this here? Okay, why did I put her back into the case? Bam, Maybe right there. Now, they sent me a couple of lip products as well. So, we have a cute matte packaged lipstick. This is the actual lipstick here. I took it out the package because it was consistent with the rest. So I like this. This is kind of like a nude mauve color, which I live for. This is something I can possibly wear every day. I just gotta see how it looks on me, but it's just like based on what I'm looking at, we might be friends, okay? And then on top of that, which I usually will put on top of a lipstick is a gloss, okay? And this is called the Hybrid Lip Treatment and Gloss that plumps. It hydrates and repairs with a slicker color. Okay, girl, that's what I mean. That's what she's saying. So we're gonna go ahead and believe her while we can. Okay, so let's get started. I went ahead and primed my skin after doing my, you know, skincare routine. I went ahead and washed, moisturized, and prime my skin. So we can go right into the color, okay? I'm gonna start with this tinted oil. I'm gonna shake her up, because common sense is telling me to shake up some oil with some color in it, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm either gonna get too much oil or too much color, all right? Um, I swatched her, I did, I swatched her yesterday. The color looked perfect, okay? It is very runny. We're dealing with oil, so keep that in mind. It is very runny, but some people don't like that. I do because I don't like thickness. I don't like too much thickness on my skin, okay? Now, it does have a smell to it, but I'm actually very impressed with the coverage. Y'all see my, my, my insecure area going away already? Because, you know, I start right, I start right there. We're going to get right to what we came here for. <laughs> we ain't going to be around the bush, okay? Because, listen... If we don't get that in order, we might not want to go any further. But I'm actually really liking the way that this is applying and spreading. Um, I don't like to put too much product around my eyes because I'm going to be putting concealer there anyway. But as of right now, how we're starting out is on a good, on a good note. I also don't like too much product on my forehead, okay? Because as you age, less is more. And um, anywhere that there's fine lines, 
you do not want to put too much product. But you all, I am really happy with this. This is exactly what I was looking for because it's very light. Very, very, very light. Like it literally feels like I'm not wearing anything on my skin and it barely looks like I'm wearing anything on my skin. Doesn't it look just like good skin? That's what I was going for, just good skin, okay? Now, usually I'm always going to, well, not usually, I'm always going to set my foundation with a powder, always, because I have oily skin, okay? And it doesn't feel like an oil, by the way, okay? It feels like a light because it does what it sounds like it does. It's, it's, a, it's a setting powder that is very skin-like, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and set my face with that. And I'll even go over the contour part because I don't even want that to stand out with this look too much. I just want it to be like a shadow. Okay. Very light, simple, simple, simple look. Okay. So we can go straight to the brows now. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and brush my brows up with the spoolie first. Okay. That's what I'm going to do first. Next, what I'm going to do is, you know what? Do I, have, yes, I have a mirror here. I'm going to oh, use the same product. Now, this is the real test. I told y'all, like, when it comes to pencils, I'm not the nicest, I'm not the kindest, okay? And I'm always going to start here. And this is the test here. I want it to look really natural today. I don't want it to look super beat. So I'm going to do like hair strokes. And let me tell you, for what I'm going for, it's giving me exactly what I want. You notice that looks just like my hair. Looks just like my hair. That's what I was going for, you all. She passed the test. That really happened. She passed the test. And I like that when they have that angle like that, that makes it easier for me to do my hair strokes. I just want it to look like hair. I don't want it to look like I'm really filling my eyebrow in. So let me go to the next one. I'm happy. I'm really, really happy. Okay. Same thing over here. Giving it like strokes of hair. And I'm literally just filling it in, literally. I want it to look super natural. I'm really happy with that. Okay, listen, that done made a liar out of me, made a fool out of me, and I'm okay with it because I will be using this every day and I'm gonna be getting more of that, okay? Now, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is use the tinted gel to see what it does for me okay so it does add a little bit of color to it so honestly this is what I will say you can if you have thicker eyebrows you can use this product by itself okay just to comb through your eyebrows because it's going to set It gives you just a little bit of a shadow. That's it. A little bit of a shadow. But it makes those hairs look really beautiful. Okay? Um, or, with the clear gel, if you have thicker eyebrows, or after you do your eyebrow pencil, you can use the clear gel. So, what I'm saying is, you can use either of these products by themselves or as you can see, you can use them together as well because it's not they're not interfering with one another. They're friends. Hence why like, they probably sent them to me together because they get along. Oh, that, um, that first gel already dried, girl. Okay. Okay. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm loving that. Okay. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and do my concealer. All right, just to make sure around these eyes are brightened up. Okay. 
go ahead and just brighten up the center of my face. All right, like I said, I don't put too much product on my forehead anymore. All right, and I'm just gonna go ahead and use my finger to blend her on in. You see how, what I was saying, how it blends in? Very natural. It just highlights and brightens perfectly, but it doesn't make it look like um, Casper the Friendly Ghost. See what I did? And it helps to blend into that contour and get you together, all right? I'm really loving this. Yeah, all right, got that going on. Brighten them eyes up. Bring her down to them cheekbones. Sculpt it out a little bit. Don't play. Don't play. Mm-hmm. I'm here for it. Go ahead and blend her in here. Get that Cupid's bow to stand out a little bit. Mmm, that's cute. I'm happy. Now, also, let me go ahead and set her with my Mineralized Skin Finish. Okay, if I can open it. I always set a liquid or a cream with powder, okay? She's set, all right, boom. Now, uh, let's go ahead and do a little eyeliner. I'm using a separate product for my eyeliner because sometimes I can use a brow pencil, like the same brow pencil as my eyeliner, and my typical one that I use is what I do both with. So today I'm gonna go and use my Revlon Color Stay, and I'm going to use this mirror right here because I don't, do not want to be poking my eyes out. We're not doing that today. They're not going to be using me as a meme. All right. All right. Let's go ahead and just got a quick little piece of bottom liner because that makes a big difference. It shapes that eye. See how it shapes my eye? All right. Boom. 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 Now, the next step, step is optional. You can um, leave it out if you'd like to because I actually like the way it looks right now. It looks really skin-like. But I'm going to add just a little touch of blush just to help sculpt my face. Blush is not meant to look like a pink streak on your face. It's made to blend in from your highlight to your contour. It's the, it's the in-between stage, right? Okay, so I'm just using a light little blush. See how that does? I like that. It makes my cheekbones stand out. And, you know, it, it's inexpensive. I don't have to buy cheekbones. You know, it gives me cheekbones for the day realness. All right? So um, let me take off with excess is on my lips because I'm going to go ahead and use this lip color. Okay. Go ahead and use my trusty mirror, compact mirror. She been getting us through everything anyway, so why stop now? All right. And my lips feel really good, you all. Um, I'm going to try to use this overnight to see if she can replace my Vaseline. I don't know. See how new this is? Yeah, I can use this every day. Oh, I love this. Oh, I love it. Oh, this whole look is what I'm going for. This look doesn't take away from my skincare, you know? I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Okay. Thank you, Kosas. Kosas? Kosas? K-O-S-A-S? Oh my God, thank you all. This is really giving me what I was going for. And we're gonna go ahead and top this with the gloss and we are done with today's look. Oh, no, 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 no. We got a baked bronzer, we got a baked bronzer, we got a, a baked bronzer. <laughs> we're not done. Cause we gotta get that sun kiss glow, all right? So I'm gonna do my Whitney Houston laugh, ha <laughs> ha! 
All right. Let me go ahead and open this up. Ooh, I got some oil or something on my hand. All right. So I, I already know I could have boiled this on top of here or by itself. Mmm, she's cute, girl. Mmm. Oh, yes. Mm. And she's just giving you another little layer of color. But not doing too much, girl. You can stay with me. All right. So let's go with the big bronzer now. This is the big bronzer. And I'm going to go ahead. What brush am I going to use to put her on? We're gonna go with this brush here. She looks kind of dark, so what I'm, oh, okay. She's sensitive. Be careful. Got that all being trying to get too much. So since she's a little bit dark, we're gonna go ahead and put her in the contour area. There we go. Tap her off. Go around the perimeter of my face. Warm my face up. She's cute though. You all, I think Miss Cos has passed the test. What do you all think? Let me know in the comment section. Make sure you follow me at YB Limited. That's the letter Y, the letter B, the word limited. Because we're not limited around here, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and put all of this stuff in the description box to make sure you know what I used, um, the colors, everything like that, because Kosas did their thing. This was my first time using this brand, any of these products, um, and, and I'm happy with them all. This is exactly what I was going for. I was going for that skin care, that skin finish. It feels like I'm not wearing anything on my skin, right? You see my skin, but it kind of blurs those imperfections that I wanted to take away from. It did its job. It did its thing. And it gave me that little sun-kissed glow for the summer. And, like I said, I don't feel like I'm wearing any oil. I also will put down in the description how it wore throughout the day. Because it's a little humid today. So, that is the real test. I wore it on a perfect day. Okay? So, with that being said, always remember to ask yourself, what? Why be limited?